Welcome to the Spire Payments video for the installation of the SPW70 mobile terminal. To install your terminal, please ensure we have sent you the following equipment. One card terminal, including battery. One paper roll. One power supply unit. You may also have received one charging stand. Inserting the battery. Place the terminal face down on a flat surface and slide off the battery compartment cover by pushing on the ribbed oval. The cover will unlock with an audible click and can then be raised and removed from the bottom of the terminal. If a battery module is already fitted, place your finger or thumb into the recess at the base and lever gently upwards. The battery module will lift out of the compartment. Remove the insulating tape and any packaging from the new battery module and ensure the connections are aligned with those in the battery compartment. The Spire Payments logo should be facing upwards. With the contacts aligned, insert the module into the battery compartment, pushing downwards. Please note, the battery will only fit in one orientation, so do not use force. Place the battery compartment cover back on the terminal and slide back into position until an audible click is heard. Inserting the paper roll. Place the terminal face down on a flat surface and gently pull upwards on the lever located in the middle of the printer door at the top of the terminal. Discard any packing material from the paper roll. Place the roll in the compartment, ensuring that the paper is feeding from underneath the roll. Pull a short length of paper until it protrudes from the top of the terminal. Close the printer door and push down until an audible click is heard. Turn the terminal over and remove the excess paper by tearing upwards along the serrated edge. Please note, the correct orientation of the paper is critical. If you experience blank receipts, the paper may be incorrectly inserted or of the wrong specification. Charging your terminal. To charge your card terminal, connect the power cable of the power supply unit to the power socket on the underside of the card terminal. You can now connect the power supply unit to a nearby electrical outlet. Charging and battery charge condition are indicated in the top left-hand corner of the display when the terminal is switched on. Full charge is normally achieved after two to four hours. If you have received a charging stand, you can connect the cable of the power supply unit to the rear of your charging stand. You can now connect the power supply unit to a nearby electrical outlet. A red light on the charging stand will show power is present. Place the card terminal onto the charging stand. Switching on your card terminal. To switch on your card terminal, Briefly press the power button on the left-hand side of the terminal until the display illuminates and after a few moments, the start payment screen should appear. It is good practice to leave the terminal switched on even overnight, either on the charging stand or connected to the power supply to allow it to periodically receive updates. Depending on the acquiring bank, your terminal may display connecting when first powered on. A receipt will print to confirm your terminal has successfully connected to the bank and is ready for use. If this receipt displays your acquiring bank as disabled, please contact the Technical Support Help Desk for assistance. You are now ready to begin use of your Spire Payments Card Terminal.